Students today learn differently than they did in my day. And the reality is, is now the way students use technology in elementary school, secondary, and, and college is completely different. And so we have to adjust to that. So while we want to keep a lot of our core content and values and formation, um, just as it's been for the last 80 years of our Catholic schools, we want to make sure that we are teaching them in a way that they're going to learn best. And that is through greater in integration of technology. The, the model, Catholic education and, and public education, for really two centuries has been one size fits all. It's designed after a factory where everything is standardized. All sixth graders are the same. All teachers are the same. And you put them through this assembly line called grades. That's not necessary today. With technology, you can uh, individualize the learning for each individual student. We have made a commitment as a school of making sure that we have our doors open to students from every background, every socioeconomic status, but we've also made a statement that we are going to try our hardest to send our kids to the best colleges and universities possible. Whether it's uh, going to uh, USC or Berkeley, I know that I'll probably be sitting in, um, some classes might be on the larger size, and I know a laptop is going to be very, very beneficial for me. And I know that the experience that I've had with the laptop in high school is definitely going to prepare me for that. It's a great tool for them because when they are feeling successful, when they are succeeding, then that has a remarkable impact on their overall school experience. First graders at St. Monica Catholic Elementary School, I see that you use computers. Are computers fun or are they boring? Fun! Well, I think one of the most exciting things about the personalized learning is it addresses each individual child uh, really based on their current ability and their, and their uh, current status. So historically, they were, computers were a separate class, and you had technology a separate grade. And the reality is it's, it's no different than ideally how we would not want to compartmentalize our faith formation to an hour of mass on Sunday. So to be really effective in growing your faith, it has to become part of your, your everyday culture. And I said techno technology is, is very similar in that way, that it's, it's not a standalone thing, let's learn PowerPoint or let's learn some uh, presentation skill, but really, how can I utilize technology to function in today's world, which is completely different. So we really need um, a lot of help to get this moving next year. We, we have a great infrastructure already, but we definitely need some help in securing hardware and software so that we can completely and fully serve our students. And I really think that with the support of people at SMASH, we can continue to build these programs such as our MacBook Air program to make sure that it's the best in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and really make sure that we are at the very top of what it means to be a technologically engaged school.